Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I'm going to be investigating the recent WikiLeaks file dump of a congressional communication that has an insane title that has everybody talking. Check out this screenshot from WikiLeaks that reads, quote, Report that you are destroyed secret U.S. base on moon, end quote. So you can see why everybody is excited about this leaked cable, because it purports that Russia destroyed a secret United States moon base in the year 1979. I gotta admit, I'm pretty friggin' interested myself, so let's dig into this a little bit and see what we come up with. So it looks like this cable was dated January 1979. And the tags show Arbogast, Sade Quentin, Ogen Operations General, and UR, Soviet Union, USSR. Now those last two make sense, the Soviet Union desk and Operations General. However, I'm not sure what this Arbogast Sade Quentin designation really means. I'm going to have to look that up later. Let's come back to it. The cable appears to have originated from the Department of State in the Bureau of European and Eurasian Affairs. And it looks like it's addressed to Samuel L. Devine. The type of communications is a congressional correspondence. Now so far here, everything looks legit on this document. And it does confirm that the UR designation is Russia. And that makes sense because at the time they were the United Soviet Socialist Republic. In any case, that leaves us with two leads so far to investigate. One, who is Samuel L. Devine, the person that the cable was written to? And two, who or what is Arbogast and Sade Quentin? A simple Google search shows a Sam L. Devine who was the representative for the 12th District of Ohio from 1959 until 1981 and a member of the Republican Party. Maybe it was him. Let's take a look. According to bioguide.congress.gov, Devine passed the bar in 1940 and was appointed a special agent for the FBI, where he stayed for five years. In 1945, Devine left the FBI to practice private law. From 1951 to 1955, Devine served as a member of the Ohio House of Representatives. And finally, from 1955 until 1958, Devine was the prosecuting attorney for Franklin County, Ohio. And at some point during that busy schedule, Devine even found time to chair the Ohio Un-American Activities Commission, a local version of the same federal witch hunt that was underway at the same time. The question is, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? I don't believe you have the right to ask well, the question of anybody. And then in 1959, Sam L. Devine was elected to Congress, where he stayed until 1981. So this information confirms that Sam Devine could have been the person that the cable was sent to. But we still don't know why the cable was sent, and we don't know what the cable contains. However, Devine's name on this cable definitely makes me feel more confident that this cable is legitimate. Devine was a member of Congress in 1979, so it checks out that he could have been the recipient of this cable. In fact, there were over a hundred cables leaked by WikiLeaks that contained the name Sam Devine. And most of them seemed mundane in nature, but I would like to point out one thing. Both Wikipedia and the bio on congress.gov tell you next to nothing about what Congressman Devine did with his 22 years in office. The biographies are surprisingly silent about what he actually did. But judging by the wide range of topics that the congressman was receiving communication about, I tend to think he was involved in all sorts of activities, most likely top secret. So, we've pretty much hit a brick wall with the congressman. In fact, all we can really determine is that he was in office during the time the cable was sent. Let's take a look at the wording of the subject of the cable. 
quote, report that you are destroyed secret U.S. base on moon, end quote. So we know that you are is Russia and U.S. is the United States. So this cable could mean exactly what it says. That this report contains information that Russia destroyed a secret United States moon base. But this also could mean something else. It could mean that the United States had intercepted Russian intelligence claiming to have destroyed a secret United States moon base. And the Russians might have reported this for any number of reasons. Maybe they did destroy something on the moon and they believed it to be a U.S. secret base. Or maybe they suspected the U.S. was building a base on the moon and Russia leaked the information of an alleged destruction as a sort of counterintelligence operation. Check out this piece from the CIA vault from 1961. I'll put a link to the full document below so you can see everything for yourself. It shows how intelligence sources obtained confidential Russian documents discussing the role of space weapons in future war. And when you read the document, it shows a pretty standard and philosophical analysis of what people think space war was going to be like back in 1961. But if we didn't have access to this full report, the title, out of context, could be taken to mean something else altogether. So, who really knows? The Cold War was in full swing in 1979, so I wouldn't be surprised to learn that both the United States and Russia were trying all sorts of new tactics. And one final note about this cable. The tagline, Arbogast, Sade Quentin, really bothers me. I was unable to find any relevant information on this topic, and I will continue to research this and ask around, but if any of you all out there have any information about this or know what this means, please let me know because it is bothering the heck out of me. But at the end of the day, I really don't know what to make about this leaked cable from 1979. There just isn't enough evidence to speculate at this point. Perhaps a Freedom of Information Act request could get the actual cable, then we could figure this thing out. But for now, that's all I have on the WikiLeaks file dump of a cable titled Report That Russia Destroyed Secret United States Moon Base. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503. And I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth.